hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to talk about the various factors that affect the wounding capacity of any projectile so before starting this video please like this video subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload any video on my channel so there are five main factors that affect the wounding ability of any projectile over the target this includes striking angle that is the angle that is formed between the target and the projectile then the striking velocity that is the velocity with which the projectile has hit the target then there are different types of targets also that also affect the wound that is going to be caused then there's firing distance and intermediate targets so all these five main factors are going to be discussed in this video so first let's talk about the striking angle now the angle can be of different types it can either be perpendicular angle or the angle can be obtuse or acute all right so depending on that the shape of the wound is going to change for example if we talk about the right angle if the bullet is striking the target at right angle then what we get to see is there's a circular appearance of the wound see here in this picture a now here we can see that the bullet has entered the target at perpendicular angle so the wound that we're going to see is round all right or circular but if we talk about the other angles if there's any oblique angle that is formed for example in this figure b now when a bullet strikes the skin obliquely the entrance wound would be usually oval so for right angle it was circular and for any oblique angle it is oval in shape you can look here in this picture that the wound has been formed in oval shape like this and here it is round then angle smaller than critical angle now critical angle is the minimum angle at which a bullet might ricochet off so if the striking angle at the target is less than the critical angle then the projectile is going to ricochet off from the surface ricochet basically is a phenomena referring to the deflection of any projectile from its normal trajectory path all right so if the angle is less than the critical angle then the uh, then the bullet might ricochet off but this is not the only factor that is going to affect the ricochet of the bullet other factors such as uh, whether the bullet nose is round or if it is square is also going to affect the ricochet or the velocity is also going to affect the ricochet like if the velocity is more then the tendency to ricochet off is less and if the velocity is less then the ricochet might increase or uh, the ricochet probability might increase all right then comes the angle of elevation of the barrel now with small arm bullet what has been noticed is that the maximum range is generally uh, obtained at a 29 degree angle all right at 20 uh, if the barrel is held at 29 degree angle then we get to see maximum range now this might even differ a bit like um, in between 29 to 35 degree barrel angle there might be a little increase in the range all right but if the angle exceeds 35 degree then the range starts to decrease all right so this was all about striking angle next we talk about the striking velocity that is the velocity or the speed with which a projectile hits the target or it strikes the target so that is also going to affect the wounding ability now if the project if the velocity is less than 400 meter per second then we get to see a normal kind of wounding that is there's no abnormal wounding phenomena that is seen in this particular range then the projectile they do not fragment normally or deform unless until it is hit by certain hard objects like for example bone then we might get to see deformation otherwise in this range 400 meter per second range or less than this we get to see no we get to see normal wounding phenomena then in between 400 to 600 meter per second range what we get to see is that the lead bullets and the expanding bullets they show mushrooming effect mushrooming effect means that it is going to open up like in a mushroom shape which is dependent on several factors including the striking velocity now the constitutional features and material of the projectile and, and the resistance offered is also going to matter the tissue damage will be increased due to in, increased projection area now that the bullet has opened up and it ha it has expanded then it is also going to affect the wounding because the projection area has been increased 
then in between 600 to 1100 meter per second range we get to see explosive wounds all right generally service and sporting rifles cause such wounds then the high velocity projectile they creates a vacuum behind it and whenever the bullet enters the target that vacuum vacuum there also gets inside the target which leads to even more damaging effects of the wound then comes 1100 meter per second range generally these bullets are not used they are not much common then next we can talk about the nature of target now the target material is also going to affect what kind of wound is or how the wound is going to be formed for example in human body 60 percent is water and it is not uniformly distributed we have somewhere we have bones somewhere we have veins somewhere muscles nerves blood vessels so all the different parts of the body they are not uniformly distributed so the vulnerability is unevenly distributed now the target side whether it is in front or back also matters like for example if the bullet has affected the frontal area so that is going to cause more serious injury as compared to the back side because the protective tissue on the front side is smaller it is 0.6 centim it has 0.6 centimeter depth whereas if we see for back side then that is 3.3 centimeters so that is also going to affect the head injury would differ from the wound found on the waist obviously the head injury is going to be more damaging then there are different parts of the body like neck chest abdomen extremities all these are going to have different effects for example the neck area if the bullet hits the neck area then that is very dangerous because there are a number of vital anatomical structures present in our neck also chest if it hits the heart area then that is going to be very damaging or if it hits the lungs or any other major vessel then that is going to be a problem other than this extremities like for example if the bullet has passed through your hand or through your legs then that is not going to cause any life-threatening problem so it also depends where the bullet has stuck then the minimum velocity required to penetrate the skin is 40 to 50 meter per second whereas for bone it is 60 meter per second and this is known as threshold velocity so threshold velocity is the minimum velocity that is required to penetrate the skin then intermediate targets are also going to affect for example intermediate targets are the targets that are present in between the target and the projectile so if the intermediate target is thin if it is thin like for example a shirt then that is not going to have uh, any influence on the wounding power of the projectile because it is very thin and soft but if it is hard for example like armors now then it might change the velocity also the wounding capacity of the bullet is going to decrease if the fragmentation of the intermediate target take place then the fragments may cause separate injuries now if a bullet has hit any target and that has lead to fragmentation of the target fragments itself can act as secondary missiles and that can cause separate injuries on the intended target by showing behavior of secondary missile now intermediate targets may increase the spread of projectile also these projectiles may hit some of the projectiles causing bullet ball effect like for example this was the target person and a projectile was fired and we know that in case of shotguns the pallets are fired and they travel well together now, now let's say that this was the first batch of projectiles that was fired then comes another batch now when another one comes that is going to deflect it deflected when it comes in contact with the first one and once the second one hits the first one then there is going to be deflection of all these pallets and this is called billiard ball effect so the projectile may hit some of the projectile causing a billiard ball effect of getting slowed down by the obstruction of the intermediate target increasing the velocity and change in direction then the firing distance or the range can also affect now that is quite obvious that a contact injury would obviously be more different from a 
distant injury contact injury is going to cause more damage as compared to the injury caused by any projectile that has been fired from a particular distance because with range with increase in range we get to see yawning tumbling air resistance so with increase in range all these things are also going to increase and that is going to affect the wounding ability of any wound negatively all right so the closer the range is the uh, the more injury the bullet is going to cause so this was all about this video i hope that you understood the various factors that affect the wounding ability of any projectile if you like this video then please share it with your friends subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon too so that you get notified whenever i upload any new video thank you